have a very exciting afternoon and evening planned. I'm in Koreatown today. Technically, Koreatown is like a sub-neighborhood of Midtown Manhattan, and it's really, really small. It's really just a few blocks, but epic blocks they are indeed. This area is located right next to some of Manhattan's most notable sites, like the Empire State Building and Herald Square, where the world-famous Macy's is. Pretty much the main attractions of Koreatown are restaurants, and considering food is my favorite thing, that's perfect for me. Now, I've already had my lunch back in my apartment. Instead, I'll be having a dinner down here, but that won't be for later. In the meantime, I need my coffee. I'm gonna try to go to Gray Street Coffee and Desserts. It's one of the most popular coffee shops here. Every time I've gone past it, it's always crowded. I've never been there, and I'm so excited to go because the desserts they have look amazing. Made it to Gray Street. I'm surprised this is the least amount of people that I've ever seen in here. I've already ordered, got coffee, of course, and uh, matcha beignets. I'm super excited for this. Oh, look at this. So beautiful looking. You can tell it's fresh, it smells so good. Really enjoying the beignets. They're like light, fluffy little clouds with a nice matcha flavor. It's not too strong, kind of subtle, but it's really good. Really loving the matcha ice cream as well. It's a good contrast from the warm beignets to the cool ice cream. Good matcha flavor in that as well. These are literally like wonderful tasting pillows of matcha and sugar. It's so good. Plus, good coffee. Good, really enjoyed that. Big portion size too, that would be pretty decent for sharing. While I finish up my coffee, I'm gonna do a little reading. My current book is Nobody Lives Forever, a James Bond book from the 80s. So after Ian Fleming died, other authors took the mantle of writing stories for James Bond. John Gardner, who wrote a lot of the James Bond books in the 80s, wrote this one. I'm almost done, I've got like 30 pages left. It's decent, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm a huge fan of this series, so I have to read it. In some cases, it is pretty predictable, but there are some surprises in there, and I'm just having fun with it. Every once in a while, you need a book where you can just have fun with it. Nothing too serious, and this fits the bill. good coffee and dessert break plus all the other desserts on the menu just look so so good and it really filled up as I was about to leave I mean it's uh, pretty crowded now and that James Bond book I read really satisfying ending really enjoyed it speaking of books I think I'm gonna go to a bookstore it's called Cario books I'm probably saying that wrong I'm not sure but it is a bookstore I haven't been there and I always love bookstores even if none of the books are in my language I'll check it out This is a book I've always wanted to read, although I might have trouble reading this copy. So that was a cool store. I couldn't understand any of it, but I always love seeing a bookstore. Plus they had other things besides books, things related to K-pop, objects, items. So um, it was a pretty neat place just to look around. Now I'm gonna head to the world famous Macy's, which is not technically in Koreatown, but it's right near it. I mean, it's close enough, right? Anyways, I'm going there because they have their annual spring flower show going on right now. I've gone in years past. It's always been pretty enjoyable just to walk, see the flowers. Um, we'll see how it is. Plus they have bathrooms there and I need to go.
solid flower show, very enjoyable, beautiful floral arrangements, a lot of people there, understandable since it is free and it is pretty awesome. Also, it was a very successful bathroom break and I just love the old traditional wooden escalators that Macy's has preserved that go down to the lower level of the basement. I absolutely love historical things like that. It is so cool. Yeah, I know it's just an escalator, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, it's dinner time. I'm going to Take 31, a very popular restaurant. Well, obviously I'm going to a Korean restaurant in Koreatown. I am super excited about this. Very hungry. The food looks amazing and it has really good reviews. So hyped. currently on the way to the restaurant and as I was walking on the sidewalk I saw this trolley parked on the street but it's not a trolley well it is a trolley but it's actually an outdoor dining setup pretty cool right I mean I gotta admit that's one of the coolest outdoor dining setups I've seen in Manhattan so far anyways on to the restaurant that I'm actually dining at Take 31 describes itself as a casual, chic establishment that aims to break away from the standard Korean restaurant. Traditional Korean dishes with a modern street food twist make up the menu. After ordering, I was presented with complimentary takpoki. They're basically chewy, simmered rice cakes. So a nice little free side dish of uh, spicy rice cakes came out. Really good, nice and spicy, great texture, a solid start to the meal. After the takpoki, my first course, the short rib chapaguri, arrived. Oh jeez, this looks so good. Just look at that beautiful egg. Wow. Chapaguri is also known as Ramdan and it was made famous from the movie Parasite. It is pure comfort food. A luscious, savory, and sweet sauce with a slight spice coats the noodles while the short ribs serve as a solid protein. It was a very enjoyable plate of noodles. Plus it has an egg on it. How can you go wrong with that? Not much later, my rolled up cod roe omelette came to the table. So this is the cod roe omelette and it just looks so pretty. Really loving the omelette, light, fluffy, it's perfectly cooked, silky smooth eggs, but it's the cod roe sauce that makes it really, really good. This omelette is so nice to eat, it actually comes in uh, pieces here, this is just, oh that's beautiful. I loved everything I ate at Take 31, but the omelette was my favorite. Oh, I really, really enjoyed that. That was a hell of a fine meal. The food was so good, and the service, that was really, really good too. That omelet, pure heaven. I love omelets, and the cod rose sauce, oh, that just made it perfect. And that short rib chapari, I can't remember that word, but that was so good. Plus, all the courses came out super fast. That restaurant is very efficient. Anyways, uh, you know, that is a lot of garbage over there. Yeah, the whole trash on the street, that's uh, one of my least favorite parts of New York City. Anyways, now that I have a full stomach, there's really not much else to do, but I think I'm gonna take advantage of this pleasant weather and just go for a walk around the neighborhood. Well that does it for me today here in Koreatown and it has been a great day indeed. Obviously there are many more amazing restaurants to eat at and enjoy, but I can only fit so much food in my stomach. My wallet only has so much cash. I was very fortunate to have some great food today. I loved Gray Street Coffee. The desserts there, so, so good. And Take 31 was awesome. I can't wait to go back to that restaurant. Their whole menu looked really, really good. Plus the flower show, just walking around the atmosphere. It has indeed been a great day here in Koreatown. I can't wait to return.